Tchaikovsky's Eugene Onyegin was completed in 1878 and it was one of the works of which he was most proud. He was absolutely in love with Tatiana, the heroine, and indeed made her the central character. After she's met Onyegin and she retires for the night, she decides to write him a letter. So she starts to write a letter. There's, there's a very tempestuous orchestral introduction and she says, although I, uh, it destroys me, I have, to, I have to do this. And then she starts the write, to write the letter um, to, to this music, which really represents her, her anguish, her yearning. Very Tchaikovsky. with that unexpected chord, she says, no, what I've written won't do, I'll tear it up and start again. She finishes the letter, and we know that she will post it in the morning. Sure enough, when the letter reaches Onyegin, he, who is a rather worldly and sceptical young man, but not as young as she is, rejects her, as she had feared. The next time we see them together is at a ball at her mother Larina's house uh, that she's organized for all the local worthies and their daughters and sons and the distinguished visitors who are, include Onyegin and his uh, friend Linsky. And there is a wonderful waltz that's actually probably one of the best known tunes in the piece and here it goes. During the ball, Onegin gets bored and starts to flirt with Olga, who is Tatiana's sister and the girlfriend of Lensky, Onegin's closest friend. Lensky gets annoyed about this, and when Onegin and Olga persist, he challenges his old friend to a duel. Foolish boy. Um, and sure enough, the second scene of Act Two is the duel scene. Um, Onyegin ends up fatally shooting Lenski, but at the beginning of the scene Lenski appears by himself and sings one of the most famous and beautiful arias from this opera. It's a very, very touching moment in the opera because it, it is, he's still a very young man and, and the despair he feels and the foreboding that uh, that he's going to fight with his, his oldest and dearest friend and may well not survive is what makes this aria so beautiful. It's a little introduction from the orchestra, which ends with the double basses on their own, as though taking us into some dark world. I hope this gives you some idea of the variety. There's also a fantastic polonaise and a mazurka, which show off the orchestra, uh, and a tragic ending when Onyegin realizes that he was wrong and that he indeed has loved Tatiana all these years, and he finds her in St. Petersburg where she is married and rejects him. It's based on a poem long narrative poem by Pushkin and is one of the most remarkable achievements of this composer and indeed of in all 19th century Russian opera.